At the beginning of the 1990s, a most important archaeological discovery was made. That discovery was of an ancient Arab city. What rendered this archaeological find particularly interesting was the fact that this city was where the Ad, mentioned in the Quran, lived. It was Nicholas Clapp, a noted documentary filmmaker and a lecturer on archaeology, who found this city mentioned in the Quran. Being an Arabophile and a winning documentary filmmaker, Clapp had come across a very interesting book during his research on Arabian history. The book referred to Ubar, a very ancient city, and to tracks belonging to it. In order to aid his work to find these tracks, Clapp requested assistance from NASA to provide the satellite images of the area. From this, he went on to study the ancient manuscripts and maps in the Huntington Library in California. Here, he quickly found a map drawn by the Greek-Egyptian geographer Ptolemy in 200, which showed the location of an old city found in the region and the paths which actually led up to this city. Moreover, the trails in the map corresponded with the trails in the satellite pictures taken by NASA. The final destination of these trails was a broad site understood to have once been a city. Finally, the location of this legendary city was discovered. After a short while, excavations began and remains of an old city were brought to light. It was these remains that constituted the real proof that this ancient city was the city of the people of Ad, referred to in the Quran. Because among the structures unearthed during the excavations were pillars. This is just as is revealed in the verses. Don't you see what your Lord did with Ad-Iram of the columns, whose like was not created in any land?